Hey guys, it's Sam and Lisa of I Shake My Head. Guess what? Episode 2. Guess where we are? The Lowe's parking lot. Why are we here? Because it's free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Even though we still have the data plan that we could use if we needed to. We totally have the data plan to support this. However, if it's free, use it. Guess what else we're doing? We're eating pizza in a car. Yeah, eating pizza in the car. That's new this week. <laughs> Eating the Little Caesars pizza in the car. Mm -hmm. Do you like? Do we need to tell people that? I just told people that, Samantha. Okay. So okay. now that we have added another new stereotype to fat girls. Sorry. Eating pizza oh, in the car. Oh, oh. Are we shame eating? No, we're not. No, we're having supper. <laughs> Plus size women are allowed to have supper. So no. <sighs> do I need the? Ex did I need to get the breadsticks with no. the dip? No, you no. did not. But guess what? I have to drink. It's a water. Because that's good for you. Yes, that erases all the things that were bad about the pizza and the breadsticks. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, just saying. Let's get down to business, Lisa. All right, Samantha. Okay. Are you just... I'm back. I'm with you. Are I'm you with, with you. me? Yeah. I'm okay. with you. I'm with you. I got this. Today's topic, guys. Near and dear to our heart. It's about aging. I know. Ugh. However, I think we mentioned last time, we're in our 40s. And we, we lovingly call these years... The bunion years. Yeah, they are the bunion years. They are the bunion years. I got a bunion with years and years on it. It's the bunion you years. You know you're in your bunion years when you're buying a shoe size larger just to fit it. And you know you're in your bunion years when you also buy that shoe size larger and two pairs of insoles now go in because it just makes it feel a little bit cushier. A little bit cushier. Hashtag bunion years. Hashtag bunion years. <laughs> All right. You know what? I think when it comes to aging, Sam... You and I don't always see things the same way. And no. I think a lot of it is because... Do you think Jurgen's lotion is actually like good for you? Body cream. Goes on not, my body. It's not face cream. It says body cream. It's it, not face then you, cream. Then it should say that. It doesn't say that. Ugh. It doesn't say that anywhere. Mm -hmm. But I think the reason why we have issues with why we don't agree with our aging process, I think, is not just the process i think it's because you refuse to accept the fact that you're older no i'm not you are no i'm not i was born in 1969 you were born in 1968 lisa samantha how many times have we got to talk about this we can talk about it and talk about it and talk about it i saw the picture oh. there's evidence okay but here's there's the evidence people but not really you were born in 1968 i wasn't july 1st 1968 mm -hmm. not according to my birth certificate grandma Lowe has a picture uh, you, your fat little body, and some cake in a high chair. <laughs> and it says, Lisa's first birthday, 1969. Friends of the podcast, note to self, don't always share everything. <laughs> so here's the background behind this argument. Okay? First off, Grandma Lowe is dearly departed. So she's not here to, to say yay or nay. But what happened years ago? My mother passed away. And Grandma Lowe, unknowing to many people, had these pictures of me as a baby. She was my neighbor in Stainer for 25 years. And we always still kept in touch even after I moved and everything like that. Right? But, so what happened is after my mother died, she she sent me these pictures. And these pictures of, are, are of me, not as a newborn, as probably a one-year-old. And on the back, she mislabeled them and said, Baby Lisa, age one. 1969 which makes no sense because baby lisa in 1969 was just that brand new baby not a one-year-old she did not mislabel they're mislabeled no they're not well i don't know i think that they are because i even asked my dad about it not that that was my best move because he didn't really recall because he said that back in those he days he didn't want to admit that they were lazy they weren't lazy he just said all that he said is that back in those days he, he, he thinks getting your birth certificate done wasn't quite as pressing as what it is now. <laughs> right? It was like the late 60s. Right? Peace. Love. It's probably smoke pot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think he smoked pot. But that's what they did back in those days. So, so that, so, but, but he also then, probably when he saw the look of shock and horror on my face, he did say that he felt really confident that the, that the pictures were wrong. Because he wanted to save face. I don't know. I believe Grandma Lowe. Well, you know what? In a court of law, I would have to believe my birth certificate, which definitely does not say 1968. <sighs> Whatever. That is unfortunate. All right. Anyways. And you keep throwing the fact that you think you're younger than me in my face all the time. Yeah. Not fair. 
But it's true. Yeah, not fair. Learn to deal with your age. Anyways. All right. Lisa. All right. Drop it. All right, fine. The just world a, knows. Yeah, whatever. The world knows. world knows I'm right. Mm, just mm-hmm. ask her. Okay. So, the end of our first episode, we, we told you we were going to talk about a fun topic. Super fun. And it was called, the question was, would you rather age from the neck up or the neck down? Now, Lisa, did you go home and you think about that question? Yeah, I did. And the first thing I thought of is I know that we are not going to agree on the topic. Of course we don't. Right? Because God forbid you ever see things the way that you should, which is my way. Oh, shut up. But yeah, absolutely. I gave it a lot of thought and I, uh, I want to let the world know that I am going to age from the neck down. Why? Because aging from the neck up is already going to take care of itself. How? The reason why, right? That everybody thinks, oh no, you got to look best from the from the chin up, right? But when you're somebody like me and you have what they call a round face, which means that I tend to store fat in the cheek area, which then sometimes spills a little bit into my lower chin. What happens is that as I get older, that takes care of itself because don't start laughing. Were you about to laugh no. right there? It sounded like you were about to laugh. No. Nope. Don't you start laughing. Nope. Okay. Because I did the research, right? So being a round facer, as I age, my cheeks will lose fat all on their own without any help from me. The creases from my nose to my mouth. This is assuming your face is really round. It is round. No, it's not. It is. It's a round face because I carry a little extra weight in my face. Mm-hmm. It's not chiseled. It's not a chiseled no, face. No, I would never call you chiseled. No. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Don't laugh. I see your double chin too. Shut up. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Okay. So what will happen is that for me, from the creases from the side of my nose to like my mouth right? They will start to become more pronounced. Also appearing to be a little gaunt, which is thinner. Which is code for sagging. Not sagging. It's code for thinner. No, it's code for sagging. Oh, she looks gaunt. A little sunken in and thinner. (laughs) So So your fat is really just going to lay closer to your chest. (laughs) Nice. Nice, Samantha. (laughs) All I'm saying is that that my face is going to age nicely on its own. Uh Uh-huh. So I will try and just worry about the rest. You're going to concentrate from the neck down then. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. That's because what I'm saying. nature's taking care of the face. The moneymaker's being taken care of all on its own. <laughs> Jergens lotion and all. Yeah. Body cream. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Here's the thing, Samantha. Not everybody can be as pay attention to detail as you. Not everybody can have it's the... It's not a bad thing, Lisa. ...can have the perfectly arched eyebrow. When you're old, are you going to still have that perfectly arched of eyebrow? Of course I am. Ugh. Uh, you know what? I tried, uh, one time, one time I tried to like, whatever you do, what do you, plucking? Can't handle it. I can't handle the pain. I can't handle, I have no patience for it. So I just, everything just takes care of itself. You just look unkept. I don't look unkept because yes, my eyebrows do. are light. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're not unkept. Okay. No. All right. They're not. All right. They're not perfectly arched. Just saying. They're natural. Mm-hmm. It's natural beauty here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All happens on its own. <laughs> it's something. It's mm, nice. It's something, folks. Nice. <laughs> nice. And what about yourself? Well, I really thought about this question because I was torn. Were you torn? <laughs> I was torn. Yeah. So I figure I'm choosing from the neck up because it's cheaper. Cheaper. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think. Of course, you're about the cheapest. With a little bit, bo- with a little bit of Botox here and there. Uh huh. Maybe some microdermabrasion. I don't know what that is. It's it's like a facial. Oh. Where they kind of erase the wrinkles. Whatever happens, you just soap and water. That's what works for me. Yeah, that's what happens too. Yeah. And, and some Juvederm and I don't know what else. I think it'll be cheaper to take care of the from the neck up. I think from the neck down, it's going to cost money. So you're going to let it go. But I also... let it go. But... You're going to let I yourself also, go. No, that's not it. Kind of sounds But like I it. feel torn because really I had to choose neck up, yeah. neck down. Yeah. But really, my philosophy is... Take care, take care of the whole thing. Oh, the whole package. The whole package. I think it's hard to, th- it's hard for women to get older because we get stereotyped and, 
and for some reason we're not as valuable as we get older, which is odd because men tend to are considered wise and knowledgeable. Wise and knowledgeable. Once they get older and women are just be like, oh, she's bitchy or she looks old or Mm -hmm. whatever. So I think my personal philosophy is, is if you have a good attitude and you try to do the right thing by eating Oh, you know, eating well-ish. Well-ish. Yeah, no overindulgence, you know, Ish. try not to. Ish. Ish. You know, throw in some vitamins, which is not always a bad thing because I don't eat my vegetables every day or I don't eat fruit all the time. Well, you know, so, I, I take, I, I don't take vitamins. I drink my vitamins. Yes, I know. Orange pop. And sunny D. Yeah. Oh, okay. And calcium. I drink milk, not always chocolate. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Okay. But I just I just think your overall attitude is what's going to get you through your later years. Because you can all be negative about it, but that's not going to be helpful either. I think it's a happening. positive... A positive... Yeah, it's happening. Exactly. It's happening. So, in this case, I chose neck up. But really, overall, I think I would rather just try and take care of what's happening by eating properly, getting my vitamins into me, you know, paying Samantha. attention, and taking things... During the perimenopausal years. Samantha, you're so worldly. Mm-hmm. You're so worldly. Oh, shut up. Just and saying. that will hopefully. You know what I feel? I feel like this right now. Down. Om. That's what I feel. Oh, shut om. Up. A little om. I'm just trying to share with you what, what I feel is good for me. I'm not telling anybody else to do Because trust me, there are articles upon articles upon articles. Magazines. People are making money off of us. People are making money off of women. Just because. And. 20 year olds are getting Botox. You're too young to get Botox. Yeah, you don't even have a wrinkle. You don't have nothing. You know what my worst wrinkle is? My worst wrinkle that I feel is the one between my lip and my chin. Because I feel that it's a little pronounced. Not like to the, I want to stick a needle in it and Botox it. I don't really want to do that to it because I think it's character. Yeah. Well, because we should hope to be able to smile for the rest of our lives because you don't have. Botox in your face, and then right. your face is like paralyzed. That, like that cat lady, right? Whose face is just like permanently too tight. Yeah, like, right? like that's, that's not, not cool. Right. That's, that's not, not right. cool. Because I think you can tell when people have had a lot of work done. Yeah, they look very plasticky and they're shiny. <gasps> oh my god, that reminds me of your uncle. Yeah, yeah. shiny. <laughs> oh, he was shiny. Little shiny, and so was mine. Yours Remember when I told you? I'm like, yeah. I've seen this before. I've seen this look. <laughs> shiny. It's shiny. Shiny. Yeah, definitely. That's a sign. Yeah, hey? it's a or, sign. The, or it's a bad peel or something. <laughs> It's, it's something that, it's something. It is so, and I'm just like, I've seen this before. I've seen this look before. He is talking and sounding like my uncle, but his face looks a little... Shinier than I remember. Tight. A little tight and shiny. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly, it's either a peel or it's a, it's a bow tie. It's a something. It's a something. It's a something. And you know what? I'm au natural. And I still think that if I'm thinking of, of what you're saying and what I'm saying, I still think I have the best route because aging from the neck down, I can deal with because the neck up is taking care of itself naturally. Yeah, whatever. That's all I'm just saying, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to each is their own, but that's my, that's my, that's my answer from last week. That's, that's your answer. Yeah, that's how I want to age. Okay. Yeah. You know. I'm just going to age nicely. Because you're so nice. I think mine? we have to age with humor. Just like we have to walk with purpose. Oh, good God. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Walk with purpose okay, enough. and age. No, okay, no, okay, okay. Well, no. Hi. No, no really? Oprah right now. You throw it in and no, I can't. Mm. No, because it Whatever. sounds ridiculous. Was, how do you think you just sounded? It was a little ridiculous I was just too. telling people. No, it was not. It was. It came from the heart. Really? Yes. Mm. How dare you? I'm just saying. Well, so does Excuse mine. Excuse me, people. We're about oh. to have a five-second timeout. Yeah, we need a timeout. She starting. dissed me, and mm. I'm not happy. Timeout starting now. We're back. <laughs> Samantha, I want to talk to you about something that's happening to me. And what is happening to you? Hot flashes. I heat up and heat up. I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I heat down. I just heat up. I'm like, you know, that's part of menopause. Hey, yeah. Well, you know what? I'm in it. I have to be in it. And like, I'm hot. I'm always, I'm just hot, hot, hot. But thank God I'm not sweaty. I don't perspire, but inside like, like a friggin' blowtorch. It's not pretty. You know what they call it? Mm. Your personal summer moment. 
That, do you know what that sounds like to me? Your personal summer moment sounds like Massengill mas douche. Exactly. Doesn't it? Hey? <laughs> it's exactly. I will take the personal summer moment. Mas, 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 I can't even say the word. Massengill douche. The personal <laughs> summer moment one, please. Right? <laughs> That's totally what I thought. That's exactly. And then I thought some douchebag probably wrote that. Yeah. Damn. Blah. Yeah. Personal some moment. Yeah. I yeah. don't think any woman who's actually had a hot flash would ever call it a summer moment. <laughs> I don't think so. Because I watched, unfortunately, my aunt yeah. go from perfectly normal to not good mm-hmm. in an instant. Because of the flash. Her face, she was red. Mm. Her face went red, her neck was red, and there was sweat dripping down her oh, the she, side of her face. She was hot. She was stripping. She was taking off the layers. And I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. And all I thought was, that's going to be me in like 15 years. It's not. It's going to be to you now. No, it's not. I don't, it's get hot, I don't get hot flashes. Okay, but it's not far. Okay, I do get irritable, though. You are irritable. And I'm trying to I'm trying to calm You're myself irritable. down. But you know what? But I don't think that's perimenopause, you yes, being it irritable. Is. Yes, it mm. is. Yes, it is. Mm. You know, Lisa, I Sorry. can't help that people are stupid. And I can't help that my natural instinct is, is to say, seriously, you, hmm? Ah, ah, uh, ah. Friendly family content. Here. No. Yeah. Not happening. I think that, I think that I run hot and you run irritable. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just saying. That's what I think. You mm-hmm. run irritable. Everybody's got something. Can you take a pill for that? Well, you can, but it's, I don't think it's going to help. No, I think you're right. I think it it's won't. going on for a long, long time. Your irritability? Awesome. I think I've learned how to deal with it, though. Have you heard of the menopausal 15? No. Yeah. And it's a true thing. Apparently, women gain a pound for every year of menopause. So now, not only do I have to worry about being fat right at this moment, but I have to now worry about getting another 15 pounds for every year that I'm in menopause. Honey, you got bigger issues coming. Yeah. What the F? I know, right? And now, but, and then, funny, because a few minutes ago, you were saying, gotta watch this, gotta eat this, gotta do this, but guess what? You're gaining 15 pounds Regardless. whether you do all that. So guess what I'm thinking? Screw it. How did, how did, how did women get all the baggage? I don't know. I how think did that's we get all happened. of the baggage? I don't know. But at least we have an excuse. So now, if we, we have do, an excuse. Yeah, so if we do put on a few pounds, it's like, haha, look at me. It must be the menopausal 15. I'm, I'm, I'm using it. I'm going to use it no, to I my mean, advantage. I'm not excited about yeah. it. You know the other issue I have with the menopause and the hot flash? Is my husband. And Your husband is a tall, fuzzy, duck-haired man. He is. But here's the problem, right? He, he, he has decided to take a stand. To take a big stand on menopause. Right? Mm-hmm. Because... He had to wear extra socks, and he had to wear extra shirts, and they had to wear a hoodie, and they had to, when they watched TV, they had to use a blanket, right? All because Hilda ruled the roost, and she was hot, so they had to suffer. And now, guess what? He's all like, Mr. Tough Guy, yeah, if you think I'm doing that, you can think again, and I'm Mrs. Tough Girl, and I'm like, really? Because you can find a new place to live. Not forever, (laughs) not forever, but for a while, you can find a new place to live. Just for a little bit. Yeah, because it's funny, because he's a good guy, and he's a mama's boy, but boy... Boy, is he ever taken a stand with the hot flashes. Doesn't care. You know what? I don't think he just, he doesn't want to live through it again. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he's just, he's putting down that big foot of his. I know. And he's saying, that's it. That's it. The line draws here. But guess what, dude? Right? Like, you will hate me. (laughs) I'll become, I'll become you and I'll become irritable. (laughs) And hot. You know what, folks? I'm not irritable all the time. She's not. Just when I'm around Lisa. Yeah. (laughs) Oh! (laughs) Whatever. <laughs> Guess what it does to me, right? I'm just a good sport in this friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I put up with it. So basically, people, you can choose. Pick an area. Pick an area. Or don't. Right. Try to be well-rounded. Yeah. I don't know. I think... But you I know think what? shit's going to happen and you just kind of handle it one thing yeah. at a time. But you know what? No matter how hot I get, I still want to enjoy hot sun. Yeah. I still want to enjoy the sun. You know, I like water, though. I like to be near water. Yeah, that's fine. We can be near water. But I just want to get the sun because I want to continue perfecting my chocolate brown tan. You never get chocolate brown. Every summer, no. I get chocolate Oops. brown. Just, uh, okay. Every summer, chocolate brown. Lisa is as white as white. Uh, 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 mm. Shut up. Mm. She is white mm. as white. And every year, that every summer that I have known this 
stubborn person. Oh. I have had to argue with her about putting on SPF when she goes outside for any length of time. And but I she do. she turns into a red... <laughs> No. tomato. No. And then no. she she's like red, 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 and people think that she's like probably gonna pass out because she's that red. Looks worse than and it then is. She peels and then it goes white it goes back to white. No, it doesn't. I get you chocolate never, brown. No, you yes, do I do. not. No, yes, you I do. don't. I just put the work in. I know I have to put the work in. <laughs> work. I put the work in, which means So that means sun burning? Not yeah. sun tanning. You know what? I don't think I'd go I do you wanna go here, Samantha? Because guess what, Miss SPF? And I miss, my name is Sam, and I do this perfectly, and I every 15 minutes apply, and don't forget the tips of your ears, and all of that BS. What about when we were up at the lake, and the, we decided... One day. One... Yeah. A couple of hours, yeah. Lisa. Yeah. And I regretted it, because by the time I got home, I was a burning side. inferno. You came to the dark side, and I said, let's just put the work in. No pain, no gain. <laughs> let's put the work let's in. Let's put the work in. And we did. And what oh. was the result? I was a burnt crisp. Yeah. I was burnt and I was sore and I couldn't sleep because <laughs> everything hurt. It was nasty. But I learned at a young age not to complain about it because my mom used to say that a sunburn is like a self-inflicted wound. You brought it on yourself, asshole. <laughs> That's what she used to say. So really, I think we were assholes. <laughs> we totally were. Yeah, because we brought it on ourselves. Yes, But we then, did. got to tan. And no, you did not. T- I, no. Okay. Anyways, you know what? We're not always going to agree. No, we definitely will right? not. Right? That's that we've learned that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel that I need to confess something. Are we having a confessional right now? We're having a confessional. What stays? What gets said in the car stays in the car. Stays in the car. Yeah. Okay. What'd you do now? Uh, okay. So today. Oh, I don't feel good about this, but I'm just going to get it out. I'm just going to get it off my chest. Okay. I accidentally bullied Michelle who works beside me in the, in the bay to buying me Timbits. Now is bully bullying sounds really harsh Lisa. Was it just really good manipulation? I don't like the word manipulation. Was mani- it a well placed comment? I don't like the word manipulation. I'm I, I was persuasive. But I was oh, really persuasive. But I was persuasive by pulling out an unfair advantage. Which was? I told her that last week Linda, who also works with her went and bought me Timbits. She guilted her. Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, I guilted her. But I paid for her. <laughs> so that made it better. It, it, I felt better. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I felt I needed to get that off my chest. But does that make it better now? Because I did pay? No. 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 She was a really good sport. She's mm-hmm. a really great lady. Actually, Lisa, this just really tells the world that you're lazy. Samantha, I tell the world that I'm lazy. <laughs> Hashtag I'm lazy. Right? I think I probably even told her <sighs> I'm too lazy. To go, yeah, that's I, nice. It's how it, it's it, it's me. I'm late. I'm a little bit lazy. Okay. I'm a little bit lazy. Do you feel better now that you've confessed? Your yeah, sins? I do. I okay. do, and I feel okay. And you know what? Next time I see her, which will probably be on like Sunday or Monday or something, mm-hmm. I will again buy her another coffee and offer to buy her something to eat, and she'll say no, but she'll say yes to the coffee. And but then you're gonna make her go get you Timbits again? No, I might even no. I might. I don't need Timbits every day. I just today. I just kind of felt like some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just seemed like a well placed time to ask. <laughs> and she said yes. <laughs> but anyways, I'm do you just feel saying. Better now? Yeah, I feel better. Okay, good. I feel better. Right. Yeah. Do you have Do you have an Do you have an I shake my head moment? Well, it happened a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. Not recent. Well, not really recently, but it's worth mentioning. Okay. Because it's about being nice, mm. Lisa. People just gotta be nice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I go I go to my eye appointment. I go, they're really nice. The girls are lovely. Mm-hmm. They're hi, how's it going? How's your day? Blah blah blah. Some yeah. quick little chit chat. The whole the whole experience yeah. that day was lovely, even though I was being told that my eyes are old. You got old well, whatevs. Whatevs. <laughs> what <laughs> but it was it, they were really nice from yeah. start to finish. Yeah. It was really great. Yeah. Next day I go to my doctor yeah. my doctor doctor and I don't like going there to begin with right, right? cause who does? who does who does who does so I go up to the receptionist and she's like first of all there's nobody there and I'm like hello hello and then this girl comes up and she instant crank not a smile does not crack her face she's the B team she she is so the B team she's the B team cause the B team is the team that you keep in the back that really shouldn't be talking to but people but they come out for breaks they when you're on your break they only come out for breaks yeah, yeah. So I'm dealing with this lady. I'm kind of like, hi, I'm sitting here for my appointment. And she's like, mm-hmm, your name? 
So I give her my name. And she's like, go sit down, please. Not cracking a smile. Wow. Not saying, how's your day? Mm. Trying to, I'm trying to be nice. I'm yep. trying, you know, yep. nothing happening. Yep. Go sit down. My name gets called. Go in. Yep. They always take your blood pressure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the nurse take my blood pressure. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to try have a little joke here. Ha, ha, ha. No. Because I'm like, oh, I don't want to take my blood pressure. Oh, I really hate this part. Oh, you know. And she's like, you have to do this every time you come here. <laughs> okay. She take her job seriously. Yeah, she take her job very seriously. I'm quickly getting out of my sweater so she can wrap the thing around my arm. And I'm like, and then I joke again. Oh, well, if it's really high, don't tell me. She goes, don't worry. I won't. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> so Point we're taken. not going to be nice through the whole thing. Excellent. Wow. Let's just sit here and let you pump up my arm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I'm just like, okay, just get me to the room so I have to wait the five, ten thousand hours it takes for my doctor to finally show up. Yeah. Good doctor's visit, nothing, whatever. I come out and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I bet everybody that has dealt with these two chicks, they're have, they're just like, why are why why can't you just smile? Yeah. I smiled to everybody I came across as I was leaving that doctor's office. Did you Little go. lady that was walked by smile. me. Smile. People <laughs> in waiting in the reception. Smile. Like, smiling at them because I'm thinking, not getting anything from these two. No. Nope. So you were just nothing. so you were just handing out the smiles. Well, because you know what, Lisa. Smile doesn't cost you nothing. Smiles are free. Smiles are free. Smiles are free. We learned that at a young age. <laughs> Smiles are free. Smiles are free. Yeah. So that's my I shake my head moment. Yeah. Do you know my I shake my head moment, as usual, happened on the bus? Oh. Uh. Yeah, right? And so so it's um, it's a touchy subject, but it, it was, again, it was with a dude. And he was a hygienic mess. So my I shake my head moment was, dude... Get up five minutes earlier. Brush your teeth. Oh. Lift and wash your parts. Comb your hair. Did he smell? Yeah. Yeah. So oh. I shook my head. Ugh. Right? Five minutes. That's all it takes. Five minutes. That's all. It's short and sweet to the point. Go. I have another I shake my head moment. Okay. The smelly part. The smelly part. Weird, weird that I it brought this memory to yeah. me. I was grocery shopping a couple of days ago. <sighs> Lisa, I don't know. you know we have issues with people wearing pajama pants out in public. Yeah, because they're pajama pants. This girl was in <laughs> pajama pants that had the Ghostbusters logo on them. And wow. I would have almost been like... As in like, who you're going to call. Yeah, pretty okay. much. So she was wearing that. They were too big yep. and too long. In a bad shoe. Not even a good running shoe. Yeah. It was just a bad shoe a bad in general. Shoe. And then what really kind of tipped it off for me was that her sweatshirt was purple and with stripes in them. Oh. And Ouch. the sweatpants with the Ghostbusters logo were black. Oh. And I'm like, there is nothing about your purple and your black and your red that's really matching right now. No. And you're wearing a pajama pant out in public. Right in public. Two minutes it would have taken you to, one, put on a pair of jeans, wear a t-shirt, and put on some sneakers. Yeah. Hashtag, don't do it. Hashtag, what are you fucking... Like, seriously, people. Why the... No. You know what, Samantha? That's a whole nother podcast. That is a whole nother podcast. It's a whole podcast. nother podcast. A whole nother one. It's completely... Sorry. I went... I went, you went for it. You Sorry. went for it. That's okay. Sorry. That's okay. You know what? Sometimes you have I shake my head moments. <laughs> it's not just an I shake my head moment. It's okay. <laughs> you know? All right. So... I think we're, that's, we need to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up then, Lisa. Yeah. So, Samantha, why don't you tell our friends what what, what next week's about? <laughs> well, next, be, next week we're going to talk about why don't any of our summer clothes fit anymore. That's that We're going to talk about struggles. We're going to talk about the reasons. Because that's what we want to know is why don't our summer clothes fit anymore. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. Samantha, always a pleasure. Shut up. <laughs>